Kasi. Ya, onda is a me intensive product. So this morning there yeah, is a little bad news on the ranch. Our irrigation girl just got broken. It rained heavily yesterday. And on getting to this place this morning, I realized that our irrigation has broken. The tension of the water is just too much than the tension of the casting. And of course you can see this is the exact reasons why many houses collapses in places like Lekki. And one way or the other during the uh, projects, there must have been a little error or miscalculation. I could recollect that when we are doing the casting of this one, uh, the quotation of the material given to us was what was pre uh, provided but when they started the what was it called the uh, planks the boot of the amateur expanded and we are already in the progress so we had to improvise by changing the quantity that was meant to be used because we gave the what's it called the carpenter six inches he was working with six inches we used six inches for our reservoir over there and unfortunately when we started casting this one from the down from the bottom to the top it started expanding so what you are looking here is probably 10 or 11 inches for a material that we provided six inches for even the extra cement that we reserved was not even enough we had to improvise and of course this is the result and as a matter of fact i'm not really perturbed uh, it's a rainy season we don't really need the irrigation for now we don't need water for now the only thing that is just going to affect is the the only thing that is just going to affect is the finances because of course we are running on the budget and repairing this now is definitely going to cost or something so <clears throat> and if you are just watching this video or content on this video for the first time my name is Mide Oludipe I'm a regenerative agriculture expert and I'm currently experimenting on a regenerative system of like livestock production and just like I said in one of the video presentations uh, there is no way we can talk about a regenerative system of livestock production without talking about crop because the regenerative system of livestock production means the livestock we have to depend on food and it cannot be regenerative enough if you have to depend on the outside for the feed of the livestock so all these places you are looking at all these places you are looking at we have planted corn we have planted corn to this side to this side too we have planted corn this morning and here is our nursery bed here is an nursery bed for pepper. We have our tomato there that we've already made a shed for. And we are, we are having some other sets that are going to be planting later in the day. Here is our tomato. They are doing just very fine. Where are they? This is our tomato here. They are doing just very fine. We have some other nurseries towards that upper side too. So in some few weeks to come now, they are going to clear where they are going to be transplanted. So from that, we can have a source of income. So while we produce some products here for consumption on the farm, we produce others in excess to generate income. 
so that we can always get things that we need for our personal sustenance in the farm. And at the end of the day, at the end of it all, at the end of a year, we must have a sense in order for us to be able to pay our two staffs. Here too, we have a nursery here. This is another nursery here. The peppers are coming out gradually. They are cracking and gradually they are coming out. So in a couple of days from now, we should have a shed on them. So that is our goat house. That is our structure. In front of the structure is our breeding house and in front of it is a brooding house. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Your subscription goes a long way. We started from zero and now we have over 2,000 subscribers. And that means people are connecting to things we are doing here and things we intend to do. And one way or the other, the fact that you like what we are doing on the ranch gives us the hope that the dream is achievable. Because all these things started like a dream. And from being a dream, I relocated to the jungle alone. For almost two years, the only thing I was coming to do is to clear the ground and make provisions, pack sand for all these structures you are seeing here. Clear the ground and make provisions. I pack, pack sand. Make sure that I bring workers in here to come and do some of the works. Why major works and other works were done by me. And today, we have how many structures all together? One, two, three. Three major structures and several other minor structures. About six structures in together that covers over seven acres of land. Out of more than 10 acres of land that we have. So don't forget, please kindly subscribe to this channel. Turn on the notification button and share this video to some other farm enthusiasts who could be interested in doing exactly the same thing that we are doing here and they need a boost. They need somebody to ginger them up to boost them. You can see. They are under a semi-intensive product. And by December, we are hoping to have about 500 of them feasting on this massive land. So, some couple of days from now, we have our nets perimeter fencing nets that we extend from here to that end over there and then we have it from that the other side too down to this place so with that we can confidently say that this place is secured for our livestock they don't have to go outside and this place i'm standing is up to an acre of land just for grazing and of course for the chicks for the hen to feast Thank you so very much for watching. Do have a very great and lovely day. Once again, I still remain me day, Oludipe, the regenerative agriculture expert. And this is Possible Farms International, International Institute of Regenerative Agriculture. All right, bye-bye.